Have you ever wondered this, how fine, smooth, and versatile powder is manufactured? Let's delve into the process that transforms whole foods into the protein powder we know, sourcing the protein. The journey begins with the selection of protein sources. For whey protein, this means cheese or milk. For plant-based proteins, sources like soy, rice, peas, or hemp are used. The quality of these raw materials is crucial as it determines the protein content, flavor, and mixability of the final product. Protein extraction, the heart of protein powder production. The transformation of raw materials into the powders that fuel our workouts and supplement our diets is a fascinating process. Once the source of protein is selected, be it from the dairy farm or the crop fields, the intricate process of protein extraction begins. Dairy-based protein extraction. For dairy-based powders, such as whey and casein, the process starts with milk, which is composed of water, fats, carbohydrates, lactose, and proteins. The goal is to isolate the proteins from the other components. This is typically achieved through methods like cold filtration or ion exchange. Cold filtration involves lowering the temperature of the milk and then physically separating the whey protein from the fats and lactose using a series of filters. The result is a concentrated protein liquid that retains most of its nutritional properties. Ion exchange, on the other hand, uses chemical reactions to achieve separation. The milk is introduced to an ion exchange column filled with beads that have a charge. Proteins, which also have a charge, bind to the beads, allowing the other components to be washed away. The protein is then released from the beads and collected as a concentrate. Plant-based protein extraction. Plant-based proteins such as rice, pea, or soy require a different approach. Taking rice protein as an example, the process begins with whole brown rice. The rice is ground and mixed with enzymes during a wet milling process. These enzymes specifically target carbohydrates, breaking them down and leaving behind the protein. The enzymatic process is carefully controlled to ensure that the protein is not denatured and retains its nutritional value. Once the carbohydrates are broken down, the remaining slurry is further processed to separate the protein, which is then dried into a fine powder. Both dairy and plant-based proteins may undergo additional steps to further concentrate or isolate the protein. An isolate is typically composed of 90-95% protein, whereas concentrates contain about 70-85% protein, with the remainder being carbohydrates and fats. Concentrating and isolating. The extracted protein liquid is then concentrated by removing non-protein parts. In some cases, it is further processed to create an isolate, which is a purer form of protein with a higher protein content per gram. Drying the protein. Spray drying is a common technique where the liquid is sprayed into a hot chamber, turning the protein into fine particles that quickly dry out, forming a powder, flavoring, and additives. To make the powder palatable and to enhance its nutritional profile, flavors, sweeteners, vitamins, minerals, and sometimes thickeners or preservatives are added. This video provides a simplified overview of the process, which can vary depending on the type of protein and the manufacturer's specific methods.